Hello, everybody, it's me again, Conf Mental with another K. Wait, hold up, hold up, let me do this. K P M Vlog. I'm gonna make the letters appear in my fingers. Yeah. Today is about to be day four of wrestling school, and I'm hyped, baby. We've been learning stuff. We've been learning how to take the bumps and give the bumps. We've been learning how to do all the crazy stuff in the ring so that you people can see. Comp and K beat the actual fuck out of each other. Oh, yeah. Um, so let's talk about some channel stuff. We finished Super Mario World finally. Hello Neighbor is still going. Hellblade, Sanua's Sacrifice has been started, which I'm very much enjoying. But, as I said in the last vlog, we are going to wait and see how the views do before we decide to record more than five episodes. How you doing? I've decided to bring back Minecraft, which I'm about to record right motherfucking now. For you guys, because I did a poll on Twitter and you guys really seem to want Minecraft. Well, a couple of you wanted to see me want Minecraft. Not really. It's, it's not like a ton of people wanted it. But... I love Minecraft, and Minecraft has gotten cool with the newest update. Oh my god! Some of the shit they added in this new update is amazing! Campfires, barrels, new village types, but I'm freaking out about scaffolding, man! Scaffolding! I'm a builder. I'm a survival builder in Minecraft. I always have been. Scaffolding is the single coolest addition to this game that I have ever seen in the history of my life. I love it. And so much detail like decoration shit, like lanterns, campfires, and shit like that. I friggin' love it! And I can't wait to get on some of that shit. I'm also planning on making Caveman play through some of the most frustrating games that I played through um, in the early history of my channel. We're gonna make him play Octodad and I Am Bread. I want to basically sit there and watch him struggle through these games and laugh. That's all. I'm just, yeah, he's gonna be playing them. Sitting in front of the sitting in front of the, the mic right here, and I'm gonna be sitting right next to him, just laughing, laughing at him. Ha 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 ha! Ah, stupid caveman, you stupid stupid man. This is the best part too. I feel like Octodad's harder with a keyboard and mouse, so I'm gonna make him play with a keyboard and mouse. Ha ha! This just in, guys. In August, oh my God! In August, black friggin' flag is coming to Chicago. <laughs> black fucking flag is coming to Chicago and then and then who else is coming that same weekend the fucking addicts oh my god oh my god those are two fucking bands that I never thought I'd be able to have an opportunity to see and they're gonna play one right after the other not the same show mind you is one then the other different locations uh, I'm hyped as fuck. I love Black Flag so much. I, I I fully am intending on getting the Black Flag bars tattooed on my person because motherfucking Rollins is a goddamn genius and I respect the man more than I respect anyone else in this goddamn world. So yeah, as on the ta since we're on the subject of tattoos, I also fully intend to get the uh, Helm of Awe rune which is a great room. I intend to get, I want to get the horde insignia. I want to get a little silhouette of a raven for my, for my homie who passed. For my homie who passed, raven, we will miss you. We will miss you forever. And, you know, and now, now that we're on the subject of, of one of my dead friends passing, which is very, very sad, and I feel like it's, it's, been long enough now to where I can talk about it a little bit without just choking up. She helped make me who the, the this person helped make me the person who I am today. And she she will always be missed. And she is her her passing is kind of the reason we went into this wrestling school like we're doing because her passing helped us realize that life is too short to wait guys life is too short to wait if there's anything that you want to do and you're you're waiting for some some shit down the line to happen don't don't wait don't wait just do it do it right now because you might not be able to tomorrow you feel me do do what you want to do because there's no time you think there's time but there ain't no goddamn time okay 
It's important information. I feel like everyone should know. Do what you want to do now. Because guess what, guys? The human body, the human body can handle anything. If one person can do it, you can too. The human body can handle anything. All it takes is a little bit of adaption to the task at hand. I'm a small guy. I'm getting into wrestling. But guess what? I found out me and Caveman have a lot of potential in the wrestling business. The only thing is, I, sh- I need to put on a little more weight, which I already knew. I've been trying to. I've been trying to stay fit. I've been trying to go to the gym a lot. That's another thing, guys. I've been a friggin' stoner and a couch potato for my whole friggin' life, and now all of a sudden, I'm slowly turning myself into a goddamn athlete. And you know what? I feel fucking fantastic, especially because I haven't quit smoking weed, and I haven't quit playing video games, and I haven't quit being lazy on the couch at occasion. But I am eating very, very healthy. I've cut out oil and deep fried shit from my life completely. I've cut out sweets, all that shit. I eat healthy every day. It's just a matter of listening to your body, man. Eating healthy is really not that hard if you listen to your body. I just got to the point where I realized if I eat uh, this fucking deep fried something or other, don't get me wrong, it's going to be fucking delicious. But later on, I'm not going to feel very good. I'm going to feel a little bit uh, groggy and a little sickish, okay? But if I eat myself, if I eat a nice little like chicken salad... With some croutons and lots of veggies and stuff. Yeah? Alright? Right? I'm going to feel fucking fantastic later. Right? That's how it fucking works. It's really not that hard. You just got to keep in mind, how is this food going to make me feel later? I, for the longest time, was fucking was eat something shitty. Okay. Eat something shitty, and now I'm going to feel like shit. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm not going to eat that no more. Fucking just, just like kind of make a conscious effort to think about what you're eating. This is another thing to keep in mind too. I've been practically anorexic for the last like six years of my life. A hundred and thirty pounds. Like, pfft, 130, 140 pounds at the most. I've like gone up to like 185 pounds, guys. I'm so much fucking heavier than I was before. But you know what? I realize I'm not anorexic. I was just lazy. Your body turns food into energy. If I'm not utilizing any energy, it only makes sense that I'm not hungry. Since I started working out and doing the wrestling thing, I'm always friggin' hungry. But still making a conscious effort to only eat stuff that's gonna make me feel good later. Because I got shit to do. Like jump and do front flips in a goddamn wrestling ring and land right on my goddamn back. That's what I gotta be doing. I gotta be feeling good so that when someone fucking comes up and punches me in the goddamn face or the stomach I don't throw up yeah probably the stomach is a better example probably not gonna throw up getting punched in the face probably I don't know life is weird sometimes it might happen so yeah guys wrestling school uh is wrestling we're about to go to wrestling school uh what am I saying? Wrestling school. We're about to go to train at Wrestle League LLC, the greatest wrestling company in the goddamn world. And I'll tell you what makes it the greatest wrestling company in the goddamn world. Because Eric fucking Ward is here. <laughs> that was a little promo. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, I think this can go ahead and end now. And I'm going to go play some motherfucking Minecraft on camera. So, this has been Confmental. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Leave a like. Bye-bye.